ancient dagger in India. Let's take a ride to the incredibly interesting state of Tamil Nadu, south of India. In this place, a team of archaeologists stumble upon the ancient ghost town of Kontage and a completely forgotten civilization. It was then that they discovered a super mysterious artifact, an iron dagger. The dagger is 2,500 years old and still in good condition, with a wooden handle. The director of the State Department of Archaeology is sure that the dagger was used during the Sanam era, and this was approximately from the 3rd century BC to the 3rd century AD. To be 100% sure, the researchers sent the find to the United States for examination. But that is not all. Archaeologists have also found human skeletons, animal remains, and even entire houses with brick walls and mud floors. Apparently, our Indian ancestors were very advanced. They played board games, had their own language and writing. Roswell Disc the Roswell Disc is a mystical artifact rumored to have been found near Roswell, New Mexico, after the famous 1947 UFO incident. According to some reports, the disc was part of the wreckage of an identified flying object. The disc was a round metal plate with a diameter of about 3 meters, with unusual symbols and markings on the surface that could not be attributed to any known terrestrial language. The material from which the disc was made turned out to be unidentified and had strange properties. Some sources claim that the disc was given into military hands and studied in secret laboratories. Those who have been able to see it have spoken of its potential connection to extraterrestrial technology and the ability to store information superior to all earthly counterparts. Over time, the Roswell disc has become a symbol of conspiracy theories and mysteries related to UFOs. Its existence is still disputed and is the subject of debate among scientists and researchers of the paranormal. The disc has become a legend in UFO circles, and many believe it is kept in secret government archives, along with other artifacts that point to extraterrestrial interference in the affairs of mankind. Droplets of the Ancient Ocean Imagine that 600 million years ago our Earth was covered with ice, like a huge snowball. This is called the Snowball Earth Hypothesis. But how can we know if it actually happened? The answer is found in the highest mountains in the world, the Himalayas. Scientists from India and Japan have discovered drops of ancient water in the mountains. These drops may be a part of the ocean floor that existed when the Earth was covered in ice. Analysis of these droplets show that for a long time there was no calcium intake to the oceans. This could explain why there is more oxygen in the atmosphere and perhaps even help us understand how the evolution of complex life forms began. At this time, no river water entered the oceans and there was no calcium. This could lead to the growth of special bacteria which began to release more oxygen into the atmosphere. This discovery is not just an amazing glimpse into the past. This could help us to understand the Earth's climate in the future. Future. This is how science works. By studying ancient secrets, we will learn more about what lies ahead of us. Neolithic Necklace of 2500 Beads Archaeologists have recovered an ancient necklace found in the grave of a young child. And it was not just a child, but our great, 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 you know what I mean, an ancestor who lived around 7400 6800 BC in the Levant. Now you're thinking, so what, it's just a necklace. But here's the trick. This necklace consisted of over 2,500 beads. Never before have such things been found on Middle Eastern Neolithic sites. Here is how it was. In the 1980s, not far from the famous Petra in the south of Jordan, archaeologists discovered a place called Baha. This is a prehistoric settlement lost among the sandstone cliffs. It was a real village, busy growing wheat, collecting wild plants and hunting. Archaeologists are sure that the inhabitants of Baha most often buried their loved ones outside the settlement, but sometimes graves were built right inside it, under the floors of the houses. In one of these graves under the floor of an ancient dwelling in 2018, the remains of a child were found. She lived for about eight years and, according to anthropologists, it was a girl. She had a unique necklace around her neck, a whole collection of beads of different sizes, shapes and colors, as well as a ring with many holes and a pendant. Analysis shows the turquoise, hematite, calcite, and sea mollusk shells were used to make beads, and even two beads turned out to be amber, the oldest amber jewelry ever found. These beads, according to scientists, once made up a huge multi-row necklace up to 6 meters long. Ice Age Cave Entrance 
In southern Germany, in the Brudetal Valley, scientists have discovered the entrance to a cave hidden in secrets. Probably was visited by primitive people in the era of the last ice age about 16,000 years ago. Imagine a picture, a rural landscape, a lake, and nearby the city of Constance. Then look up and you will see the hidden entrance to the cave. Archaeologists believe that this cave was home to ancient hunters and gatherers and they left traces of their presence here. But what secrets can the walls of this cave hold? Presumably, this place is associated with the meddling culture of the late Paleolithic. Archaeologists have found flint tools, horn ornaments, images on the walls and even mammoth tusk figurines there. The Brudetal Valley is not new to archaeologists. In the same valley, the Petersfels cave was discovered, where graceful figurines made of coal resembling female bodies were found. An interesting story is connected with this cave. In 1978, while laying in a sewer, scientists accidentally discovered an underground chamber. They excavated and found evidence of primitive people visiting the cave and then blocked the entrance. And now, only in 2023, thanks to modern research methods, scientists managed to rediscover this secret. Why were mummies hidden in caves? In a cave in Lebanon in 1999, archaeologists and cave specialists discovered a real treasure – eight amazingly well-preserved mummies that are almost eight centuries old. This mysterious cave in the Kadisha Valley could once have been inhabited by humans. There was even an artificial reservoir near the cave, and the cave itself had two rooms where perhaps someone lived. The mummies found here belonged to Maronite people and were naturally mummified in the cave. Unlike the Egyptian mummies, no one embalmed the bodies here. Among them was a little girl, buried with her mother and her left shoulder, as they do in Lebanon today. Many amazing artifacts were found along with the mummies. For example, a baby named Yasmin was dressed in three dresses – blue, beige, and dark beige with silk embroidery. She was even given a beautiful silk headband and jewelry. This amazing find in Lebanon is not just a historical treasure, it is a mysterious story about people who lived eight centuries ago, and a mystery that we are just beginning to unravel. Wooden Stonehenge Archaeologist Antonio Valero and his team in the Podigus complex discovered an ancient wooden Stonehenge dating back to 2800-2600 BC. This circular foundation, 20 meters in diameter, is part of a huge megalithic landscape in the eastern part of the country. Such structures are found only in Central Europe and the British Isles. This wooden structure was the gathering place for the tribes for ceremonial rituals and astronomical observations. It was built and used for 1,400 years, and this is the first such structure in the Iberian Peninsula. Even the location shows that it served as a kind of ancient calendar, since the entrances to the holes are oriented to the solstice and equinox. Remains of a village in Teotihuacan Imagine the mysterious world of the ancient Mexican city of Teotihuacan, where up to 125,000 people lived. Archaeologists recently made a startling discovery in the Tilatoloco area of Mexico City, the remains of a Teotihuacan village dating back to 450-650 AD. This is not just the village, this is a world of canals, stone structures, and arts and crafts. This village was not just a place for fishermen as previously thought, it had a complex economy and was connected to other government centers in Teotihuacan. The village has been an important part of Mexican history, stretching from Aztec times to the 20th century. Archaeologists have even discovered a unique farming system developed by the Aztecs. Ancient Roman Boat in Serbia Serbian miners, right in the heart of coal mine, not far from the historic town of Viminasium, discovered a unique find. They found a boat that had been buried in the ground and slept there for about 1,700 years. Archaeologists are still in the process of research, but suggest that this watercraft was built in the 3rd or 4th century AD. The boat was a kind of food delivery for the Roman military and the population of Viminasium. All supplies were transported along the Danube and small rivers straight to the city. This is indicated by its design, similar to modern cargo barges. Archaeologists expect that this Roman barge was 20 meters long and 3.5 meters wide. The wood is surprisingly well preserved due to the moisture at depth. Perhaps the boat moved with the help of oars or even a sail. Ivory Figurine in the whole Fels cave in Germany, archaeologists have found a piece of ivory carved with unprecedented precision. 
This mysterious detail appears to be part of an artifact found 20 years ago. So what is it? Big horse head? Or perhaps a bear or a lion? Professor Conard of the University of Tübingen and his team suggest that the figurine was carved around 35,000 years ago during the Ice Age and now consists of five fragments found at different times. The current find, a piece of ivory measuring 4 by 2.5 by 0.55 cm with fine engravings, was identified as the right shoulder and chest of the animal. This prompted scientists to look for the rest of the figurine among the many ivory artifacts, and they found another part that cannot be directly connected to the rest of the body. Maybe it's part of the left front leg. What do you think? Ancient people mined coal. Frozen coal for centuries revealed its secrets to researchers. It turns out that our ancient ancestors in northwest China started mining and using coal as fuel around 3,600 years ago. For a long time, we thought that coal was only used during the Chinese Han Dynasty, about 2,150 to 1,730 years ago. But new finds are ready to change history. Archaeologists conducted an analysis at an excavation site in the Xinjiang region of China, where a Age settlement was discovered. Around 3,800 years ago, the people of this region were already growing crops and domesticating livestock as well as working in bronze, and coal could serve as a source of energy for these purposes. Archaeologists believe that people in ancient times tried to burn coal from all these places and realized that some coals were of better quality than others. Coal became a common resource as a growing population and steel production demanded more fuel resources. So the search for new sources of fuel began a long time ago, from the very beginning of man. At first it was plants, about 790,000 years ago, then wood, charcoal and manure. And now we know that coal has also entered this long history of using various energy sources. Spirit Protection Mirror in the north of Israel, in the ancient city of Usha, school children found a unique item that was used to protect against evil spirits. This happened within the framework of the state program Survival Course for Young Leaders. Usha is a place with a rich history. In the 2nd century AD, the Sanhedrin, the main authority of the Jews, even lived there. But our artifact is even older. Scientists have confirmed that this is a fragment of the frame of a small mirror that was popular from the late Roman era until the advent of Islam. But it was not just a mirror, it was an amulet to scare away demons. This mirror hung on the wall of the house like a charm. Maybe our ancestors had their own methods of dealing with evil spirits. At that time, Christianity and Judaism lived side by side with ancient beliefs and magic. Therefore, after a Christian prayer, a Jew could go to a fortune teller, decorate the house with amulets and mirrors, as they say, just in case. So the next time you had a mirror on your wall, think about how your ancient ancestors did it thousands of years ago. Perhaps you not only decorate your home, but also scare away ancient evil spirits. Sphinx from Mars The Sphinx from Mars was discovered in 1976 during archaeological excavations in Egypt. This unique figurine, only 10 cm high, has amazed scientists with its strange resemblance to the famous Martian Sphinx, depicted in photographs taken by the Viking 1 space probe. The figurine was found in a tomb dated to the Third Dynasty of the Pharaohs, and it was part of an ancient collection of artifacts. It was engraved with symbols and signs that did not look like traditional Egyptian hieroglyphs and which have not yet been deciphered. Many scientists and UFO researchers began to speculate that the figurine could be evidence of contact between the ancient Egyptians and extraterrestrial civilizations. According to some theories, the Sphinx from Mars was a kind of key or device for communicating with cosmic beings. Ancient texts found near the artifact spoke of gods from heaven who supposedly visited Earth in ancient times. There is a version that it was these gods who gave the figurine to the pharaohs. The Sphinx from Mars continues to attract the attention of scientists and paranormal enthusiasts. Some consider it to be irrefutable proof of the existence of extraterrestrial life, while skeptics argue that this is just a coincidence and an interesting archaeological artifact. Slavic Graves in Germany in the city of Brandenburg under Havel in Germany, archaeologists have come across something truly amazing. They unearthed a 10th century cemetery where each of the 18 graves contained many burial gifts that had not yet been seen in similar excavations in the region. Moreover, three of these graves are children's burials, and each of them is a whole story written without a single word. Have you ever wondered where the name Brandenburg comes from? 
It may be related to the Slavic term brani bor, which means defensive or border forest. And now, on this land, which the Slavs have mastered since the 6th century, we see unique evidence of their life and culture. This cemetery is different from others. Here, the graves are placed with a certain structure, and instead of coffins, original wooden burial chambers were used, which is quite unusual for those times in this region. And the most exciting thing is the funeral gifts. Imagine about 40 items were recovered from the grave of a six-year-old girl, including glass beads, fish vertebrae, even a bronze bead, as well as quartz and carnelian and glass beads of different colors. Ancient Doll in Italy Recently in Italy, archaeologists discovered a clay figurine about 7,000 years old. This treasure was carefully preserved by the Batifrata Cave, where the first agricultural communities on the peninsula lived. This artifact is a real rarity, especially for Italy, where there are practically no such finds. The figurine is a doll whose face is depicted rather schematically, but the most interesting thing is her hairstyle and jewelry, made with special attention to detail. Think for yourself, 7,000 years ago, people used this cave not only as a source of water or a place for living, hunting, and farming. They performed their mysterious rituals there, and it seems that this small clay doll was one of the main figures in these rituals. Unfortunately, we still have little evidence about exactly how these ancient rituals took place, but this figurine is a valuable key to unraveling the mysteries of the past. Neanderthal Rock Paintings In the following story, scientists from France have found something unique. Perhaps these are the oldest cave paintings created by our distant ancestors, the Neanderthals. And these drawings are 75,000 years old. Can you imagine? And now, where it all started. Researchers from the University of Tours found strange marks in the cave of La Roche Cotard. These are not just scratches, these are unique patterns created by lines, dashes, and dots. To figure out who might have made them, the scientists used 3D modeling and compared them to similar footprints left by humans. So, they are sure that these are drawings from Neanderthals. The most interesting thing is that the entrance to this cave was closed about 57,000 years ago, excluding the possibility that these drawings were made by Homo sapiens, and the Neanderthal tools found there gave the last piece to the puzzle. What the creators wanted to say by this, we do not yet know. There are no images of animals or objects in the drawings. But this is additional evidence that Neanderthals were no less advanced than our ancestors. This cave is the oldest rock art cave in France, if not all of Europe. The find also adds to the list of clues that Neanderthals also made art, including 39,000-year-old drawings found in Gibraltar and 51,000-year-old deer bone engravings. Who scrolled this? In Spain, there was a discovery because of which the entire European archaeological society is going crazy from discussion. The thing is that in the small town of Ornatrellas, located in Cordoba, one of the residents presented the researchers with an ordinary, at first glance, fragment of an oil amphora. Amphoras and defines are a dime a dozen, but this one turned out to be special. This fragment, made about 1,800 years ago and measuring only 6 by 8 centimeters, initially did not arouse much interest. Some letters are scratched on it, but this is also a fairly common thing. In ancient times, everything was written on amphoras. However, the researchers decided to take a closer look at the inscription. Usually, information about the manufacturer, the quantity of goods, taxes, and so on was left on the amphoras. But nothing of the kind was found on this fragment. The inscription that was preserved on it read Sve Abonium Glandum Aristapa Cuvi Tisa Cuviet. Archaeologists made an assumption, and wow, it turned out to be a fragment of the famous poem Georgex by Virgil, written in 29 BC and dedicated to agriculture and rural life. But the most interesting thing is that the poem is scrolled on the very bottom edge of the amphora, where it was not at all expected to be seen. The author of this message from the past could be a skilled worker or even a child, since at that time, child labor was often used in factories. But one thing is clear for sure, the author was much more educated than most workers. Antenna at the bottom of the sea 
1964, the research vessel USNS Altenin was exploring the depth of the Southern Ocean and accidentally took a photo of something incomprehensible. At a depth of 3,900 meters, the camera recorded an object that looked like a radio antenna. What is this? Another lost signal from aliens? The news quickly spread through the newspapers, and everyone decided that this was confirmation of extraterrestrial intelligence. But everything turned out to be not so simple. After a while, scientists found out that this is not an alien technology. In fact, it was a deep-sea sponge that really looked like an antenna from a distance. As it turned out, nature also has its own design style. Bass Reliefs with Mechanisms Sometimes we see faces, animals, or objects in the clouds. This is called pareidolia, when our brain draws familiar images where they actually do not exist. What about space pareidolia? Remember the face on Mars that turned out to be just a mountain? A similar situation happened in Egypt, in the city of Dendera. In an ancient temple, archaeologists discovered a bas relief that depicts a gas discharge lamp. Did the Egyptians use electricity? In fact, this image combines a flower and a snake which symbolized stability and fertility. But in the temple of Osiris found a helicopter and an airship. But even here there are no surprises. These turn out to be traces of old placer which eventually wore off and created such interesting drawings. Quarry Skull The next incredible story is about the famous Pilldown Man. We are going to 1912 in the small village of Piltdown in England. The bones of an ancient man who lived more than half a million years ago were found in a gravel pit. But no ordinary man's bones. This skull looked like a mixture of ape and human, like a missing link in evolution. Archaeologists, including the famous Charles Dawson, were delighted. They even named the find after him, Eoanthropus Dawsoni. More bones and a thing were found in the quarry, which definitely belonged to this ancient man. Piltdown Man became a celebrity. He was considered the ancestor of modern people. However, in 1953, the truth was revealed. It was all fake. The skull was painted and made to look like an ancient one, and the jaw belonged to an orangutan. Even the thing was painted. Many suspect Dawson himself of creating this fabrication. There are other suspects, including the famous writer Arthur Conan Doyle. But the mystery remained unsolved. Pilldown Man has become one of the most notorious archaeological hoaxes. As you can see, even scientists can be deceived. Did you believe in this story? Singapore's Tone in front of you is a huge sandstone stone, which is several centuries old. It stood at the mouth of the Singapore River like a staunch guardian of time. On it you can see strange symbols. This is an inscription that could not be deciphered. It may have been written in Old Javanese or Sanskrit. Maybe it was ordered by some powerful madman. The stone is even associated with the legendary strongman of the 14th century named Badan. They say he threw a stone into the river and later stone columns were erected in his honor. But what happened to it next? In 1843, the stone was blown up to widen the passage at the mouth of the river. Only pieces of it remain, and one of them is now in the National Museum of Singapore as a national treasure. This stone is not just an old piece of sandstone. This is the mystery that scientists are trying to solve. The secret that this inscription holds will tell us more about the past and the people who lived in ancient times. Perhaps technology from the future will help us decipher it. Petrified Bullet Mysterious 2,200-year-old bullet found inside stone in Crimea. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right, a bullet. In those days, small arms and gunpowder did not yet exist. Researchers discovered it when the stone cracked. How did the bullet end up inside the ancient stone? This find could change the whole history. Could it be that a bullet from the future hit the past and lay in the ground for several millennia? In any case, the artifact is shrouded in mystery and we can only guess what really happened. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. Delhi Purple Sapphire this story begins with a Hindu temple where the mystical Delhi purple sapphire was kept. But it was actually an amethyst. During the Indian Rebellion of 1857, Colonel Ferris took the stone for himself. He did not know that horrors awaited him ahead, loss of fortune and health. And the same thing happened to his son. 
The writer Edward Huron Allen became the owner of the Amethyst in 1890, but bad luck continued to haunt him. He even tried to drown the stone, but to no avail. As a result, the stone, as if stained with blood, ended up in a safe and then in the London Museum of Natural History. No one else dared to own this stone. So if you suddenly come across this stone, be careful, there are curses in archaeology. Don't you believe it? Subscribe to my channel and I will tell you many more amazing stories. Iron in the Bronze Age And how can one explain the existence of iron in the Bronze Age? After all, after the Stone Age, the Bronze Age follows and only then the Iron Age. Is this clear evidence of time travel? The answer is simple and at the same time mysterious. Meteorites. Yes, it was in meteorites that ancient people found iron. These space rocks that have fallen to Earth are made of an iron-nickel alloy that hardly rusts. And so the ancient masters began to process this heavenly iron, creating amazing things. One of the famous examples is the dagger of Pharaoh Tutankhamun made more than 3,300 years ago from meteoric iron. Considered a gift from the kin of Mitanni, it can be seen in a museum in Cairo. In the US state of Illinois, they even found iron beads made from a meteorite. Iron was so valuable that only kings and priests used it. Iron in the Bronze Age is like a gift from heaven. Iron lost its sacred meaning only with the advent of the Iron Age. Gnome Mummy do you know the legends about small creatures that lived on the ground? The Ainu, the original inhabitants of Japan, and the American Indians described them as undersized creatures that lived in the underworlds. Perhaps this is even the prototype of the mysterious gnomes. In 1932, in the mountains of San Pedro, gold diggers blew up a rock and discovered a strange mummy weighing only 340 grams and 46 centimeters tall. This dwarf was covered in a strange dark substance and his eyes seemed in incredibly bulging. Scientists have long thought who it is, a doll, a mummy of a child, or evidence of some ancient race. Unfortunately, the mummy disappeared and one can only guess about its fate. Many ufologists consider it a possible proof of a subhuman or even extraterrestrial race. Where this mysterious mummy is now, no one knows. Baghdad Battery and how do you explain this find from the past which combines the technologies of the present? In 1938, archaeologist Wilhelm Koenig discovered a mysterious earthenware jar in the Iraqi desert. Inside the jug was an iron rod wrapped in copper. It looks like an ancient battery that is 2,000 years old. One scientist even took a copy of such a Baghdad battery, filled it with grape juice and got electricity. The TV show Mythbusters also tested this theory, and it turned out to be plausible. Could the ancient evidence of Iraq have used this jug as a battery? Maybe they just kept the scrolls in it? Or was it a cunning trick in the temples? Scientists are still arguing. Unfortunately, the original jug was stolen in 2003, and now we can only guess what it actually served for. Perhaps this jar is the key to the secrets of ancient technologies, or maybe it's just an interesting artifact. Viking Sunstones Imagine the Vikings, mighty seafarers who conquered the seas from Norway to North America. In sunny weather, everything was simple, they looked at the sky and swam where they needed to. But what to do if the sun is not visible? This is where the mysterious sunstone or solar sun comes into play. This crystal was not just a beautiful jewel, but also kind of Viking compass. With it, they could determine where the sun was in the sky even if it was hidden behind clouds or fog. The researchers puzzled for a long time what kind of stone it was until they realized that it could be Icelandic spa or corderate. These crystals could split the light and show the path of the sun to within a few degrees. This story tells us that it is not necessary to use the technologies of the future. Our ancestors managed with the help of primitive objects to navigate the seas and oceans at any time of the day. The Starving of Saqqara we simply cannot ignore ancient Egypt, the world of pharaohs and pyramids. This civilization has always excited the minds of scientists, but there is one mystery that has not yet been solved. And that is a sculpture called the Starving of Saqqara. It depicts two strange figures with large hats, and no one knows who they are. The language of the inscriptions on the sculpture also remained unknown. This statue is like no other. It remained in a private collection until it arrived at Concordia University in Canada in 1999. Experts from all over the world are still trying to figure out if this is a unique example of ancient art or a cunning fake. So what is it really? The real truth about the starving of Saqqara is still hidden. Maybe some of you will be able to find out the truth. Penny from Maine 
Known as the Goddard Penny, this Viking coin was discovered near an old American Indian settlement in Maine in 1956. Could it be that Vikings and Indians once met? The only known Viking site in America is Canada, not Maine. Some scientists think it might be a fake. Does anyone think that Goddard himself or one of the archaeologists put that coin? But so far, this coin is a real mystery that has been worrying researchers for more than half a century. History reminds us that the past is always full of surprises and unknown secrets. Stone Age Tunnels Imagine the maze of tunnels underground in Europe that stretches from Scotland to the Mediterranean. These mysterious tunnels date back to the Stone Age and have been around for 12,000 years. Archaeologists such as Heinrich Kirsch are simply amazed by this miracle. The tunnels, only 70 centimeters wide, stretch for hundreds of kilometers underground. There are even rest areas. Who built them and why? Maybe they were shelters from enemies or mystical passages of elves and dwarves. What if someone in ancient times tried to build subway lines? What is it? A mystery of antiquity or something more? The secrets of these tunnels may never be revealed, but they are a reminder of how amazing and incomprehensible ancient civilizations can be. To dig deep underground in the Stone Age without the technology of the future, such a tunnel is an unrealistic task. Pharaoh's Mobile this is one of the most inexplicable archaeological finds discovered in the tomb of the ancient Egyptian ruler Thutmose III. Archaeologist Amin Fami discovered the strange object back in 1923 during excavations in the Valley of the Kings. Then the researchers did not quite understand what it could be and placed this item in a museum. After 100 years, they decided to return to it to carefully study it. The device shocked scientists with its resemblance to a modern mobile phone. It was a thin rectangle of golden jade engraved with symbols resembling buttons. Were there time travelers who could bring a modern device into the past? After all, often in the tombs of the pharaohs, archaeologists managed to find bas reliefs on which the ancient Egyptians hold something similar to a modern smartphone in their hands. Some researchers have suggested that it may have been a decorative ornament or a status symbol, but no one has been able to pinpoint its purpose. Materials and manufacturing technology, which were unusual for that era, were especially questionable. At the beginning of the 20th century, photographs of this item in the tomb where it was discovered were immediately leaked to the press. The exotic find has given rise to many theories and speculations. Some claim that this is evidence of the contact of the ancient Egyptians with extraterrestrial civilizations or time travelers. Others consider this a joke or a hoax. Despite numerous studies, the pharaoh's mobile remains a mysterious artifact that has no analogues in the history of archaeology. This find continues to, to inspire scientists for new research and makes us think about the unsolved mysteries of ancient Egypt. Stone softening technology Do you think it is possible to construct a building out of giant stones weighing up to 150 tons using nothing but round stone hammers? Well, they did it in Peru. Here is the mysterious Sacsayhuaman complex with amazing walls where huge boulders are so perfectly fitted to each other that even a knife can get between them. Scientists are still puzzled over how this is done. The official explanation sounds incredible. The Incas thrashed stones, lifted them, checked how they fit, and chipped off the axis. Wait a minute, they lifted 150-ton stones with hammers? It can be. Interestingly, the Incas themselves admitted that the buildings were here long before them. And there is also a legend about a liquid that made the stones soft. Mystic, isn't it? One thing is certain, the walls of Sacsayhuaman hide secrets that we can only guess about. Panda in the Tomb the great Chinese emperor Wen, who lived 2,200 years ago, passed away, and here's what's interesting. Near his last refuge, archaeologists discovered the remains of a giant panda and a tapir. Until that moment, scientists did not even suspect that tapirs could live in China during the reign of the emperor, and many other animals were found near the tomb, from mighty tigers to peacocks and golden-nosed monkeys. Many of them, unfortunately, are now endangered. What does this picture mean? 
We have a real ancient Egyptian relief here. It is older than you think, created somewhere in the 14th century BC. It is now in the famous Metropolitan Museum in New York. Look at those narrow palm columns. It is most likely a palace. In temples, the columns were thicker and decorated with papyrus. In the picture, you can see how the attendant near the brazier throws coals and the flame takes off rapidly. Such scenes gave an idea of the bustling life in the palace, where everyone was busy with their own stuff. The relief is made of sandstone. The same material was used in the buildings of Pharaoh Akhenaten. New Ecosystem Under the Seabed with the help of an underwater robot, a team of scientists from around the world, including Dr. Monica Bright, has discovered a stunning ecosystem in volcanic cavities. And yes, this is in a place where the temperature can reach to up to 368 degrees. We used to think that there could be no life there. Among the dark waters and hot springs, scientists have found a world inhabited by colorful worms, shellfish, crabs, and even bacteria that, instead of sunlight, feed on minerals. Incredible, right? And the most interesting same thing is that some of these creatures, like the giant worms Riftia pacaptila, travel through the seabed exploring new corners of their underwater home. However, researchers warn that our curiosity and desire for prey may endanger this unique world. It is important for us to respect the mysterious creatures in the depth of the ocean. Vampires in Poland the remains of a 17th-century child have been found at an archaeological site in Poland with a lock on his leg. The researchers think that the locals were afraid that this child might come to life like a vampire. In the Middle Ages in Europe, many believed in vampires and used various methods to keep the dead in the grave. Recently, archaeologists, including Darius Polinski of the Nicholas Copernicus University, discovered an unusual burial near Dabrowa Chalmanska in Poland. It was a woman with a lock on her leg and a sickle around her neck. And here is a new discovery – a vampire. The child was only five or seven years old when he passed away. He was buried face down as if his activities were feared even in death. In the Middle Ages, such burials were made so that the diseased bite the ground and did not threaten people. In nearby, they found a cluster of skeletons of other children and a fragment of a jaw with a green tint. Most likely, a copper object was placed in the mouth of the deceased, hence this color. Cemetery for the Poor have you ever heard of mysterious underground finds accidentally discovered by builders? So, right under the streets of the ancient city of Lubeck, known for its charitable traditions, a cemetery was discovered. And not a regular one. This sleeping city has been in use for over 200 years. This cemetery belonged to a shelter where people in need were helped. In the Middle Ages, during the time of knights and castles, the inhabitants of Lubeck took care of the poor, sick, and homeless. And all the historians knew about the existence of this cemetery, it's exactly location was a mystery until today. The researchers were shocked to learn how many people found their last rest here. The remains of 200 people, including children, have already been removed from the ground. This is just the beginning. Many of those buried here were not just ordinary citizens. Among them were city officials, teachers, doctors. Some of them were even buried in expensive coffins. One of the most intriguing finds is the remains of a man with a bullet hole in his skull. In the Bronze Age, they traded cities. The noisy earthquake in Turkey in 2023 brought not only destruction, but also discovery. In Karaman Marash, where everything happened, there was an ancient mound of Tel Achin. There once was the city of Alalak, a real center of the Bronze Age. Alalak was found in the second millennium BC. It was part of the Amhad, the gigantic empire of that era. Palaces stood there as early as 2000 BC. Immediately, the mysterious Yerim Lim come across our eyes. Who is he? Brother? Son? This question has plagued scholars for a long time, until recent findings point to his fraternal relationship with the ruler of Yamhad. And so, after the earthquake, archaeologists discovered a clay tablet. It's got cuneiform on it. It was an agreement on the sale of an entire city. And what is most interesting, the buyer was our Yarim Lim guy. It looks like an old receipt from a store that hasn't been opened yet. For a long time, it was thought that cities were donated or exchanged, but not sold. This split changes everything. Ancient Animal Battle 
125 million years ago, the ancient world is inhabited by dinosaurs. And now, archaeologists discovered the incredible – the remains of a dinosaur and a mammal frozen in battle. The first participant in this ancient battle is Psittacosaurus, a dinosaur the size of a modern dog. The second is Repinomimus, an ancestor resembling a badger, but this is not a cute forest dweller. Despite its small size, it was one of the largest mammals of its time. Scientists are sure that Repinomimus attacked a real dinosaur. Mammals used to be thought to be afraid of dinosaurs, but this find is game-changing. The scene of this ancient find was discovered in China, and the remains were preserved thanks to a volcanic eruption that froze this spectacle for millions of years. Ancient Marble Disc the underwater world of the Mediterranean Sea hides not only colorful fish, but also the secrets of ancient civilizations. Israeli diver David Shalom made an incredible discovery of Palmakin Beach. He found a 2,400-year-old marble disk at the bottom of the sea. There are only four such disks in the whole world. Ancient ships were decorated with such disks, which served not only as decoration, but also as protection from the evil eye. These sea amulets looked like eyes, helping sailors navigate the water and warn of possible dangers. This disc has a diameter of 20 centimeters, one side is flat and the other is convex. And most importantly, traces of paint are still preserved on it. Homeland of Plantation Slavery at the end of the 15th century, the Portuguese began to populate the island of Sao Tome, which is located 240 kilometers from Gabon. Wood, clean water, and fertile soil for sugarcane – all this made the island an ideal place for colonization. But Sao Tome was not as harmless as it might seem. Dangerous malaria has turned the island into a real trap. And what did they decide to do, you may ask? Relocate here prisoners – Jews and slaves from Africa. It was they who created the first plantation economy in the tropics, where the entire process from growing cane to building mills was built on slave labor. By 1530, this cozy island became the main sugar producer for Europe, even overtaking the famous Madeira. Among the archaeological finds on the island is the Praia Malau Sugar Factory, an old building with a unique 16th century architecture. On the first floor, there were 11 quarters, and on the second, industrial premises where sugar was cooked. However, as in many stories, there were difficulties. Due to humidity, rapid growing forests and slave uprisings, sugar production ran into problems. As a result, the Portuguese moved to Brazil, taking with them the foundations of their sugar business. Today, scientists continue to study Sao Tome, looking for traces of old factories and slave dwellings in order to learn more about life on the island and preserve its unique cultural heritage. Egypt rewrites history Archaeologists in Egypt have stumbled upon something absolutely amazing. In Hierakonpolis, an ancient city on the banks of the Nile, which was the cultural center of Egypt before the pyramids, a cemetery was discovered. But not an ordinary one. Dr. Rene Friedman and her team waited for the usual excavation, but what they found made them gasp in surprise. In the tombs, along with human remains, lay unexpected gas, baboons, wild cats, and even hippos. These animals are not usually found in Egypt. The most amazing thing is that all these animals were wild grooms. They received treatment, food, and even lived in captivity for a long time. According to Friedman, it could be the world's first zoo exhibit. These animals were symbols of power and might, demonstrations of wealth and control over wildlife. This zoo is one of the most amazing discoveries in Egypt. Imagine how these ancient Egyptians took care of their wild pets, using them in religious rituals and demonstrating their power. Slave Quarters Archaeologists in Italy have discovered a room in an old villa near Pompeii. Apparently, slaves lived there. Inside, they found two beds, but only one with a mattress, as well as all sorts of gizmos and the remains of rodents. To think, even slaves didn't have bars or locks. This suggests that the slaves were kept under control not so much by chains, but through a system of slavery. The villa where the room was found is near Pompeii, a city that was buried under ash from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius 2,000 years ago. The the entire city and its inhabitants were buried, and their houses, belongings, and stories were preserved under a layer of ash. The oldest drawings of Neanderthals. 
In the cave of La Roche Cotard in France, 57,000 years ago, Neanderthals created real art. Inside the cave, amazing drawings were found made simply with fingers, dots, lines, spots, no matter how you interpret them, this is the art of ancient people. Researchers at the University of Tours, led by Jean-Claude Marquet, have recreated these drawings in 3D and analyzed the layers of the cave. But the most interesting thing is the fact that this cave was closed about 57 years ago, and this means that modern man has not yet inhabited this area. Thus, only Neanderthals could be the authors of these drawings, which are possibly 75,000 years old. Today we know much more about Neanderthals and their complex culture. These drawings are real proof that they were far from being as primitive as we thought before. Ceramic Drainage System 4,000 years ago, the rains in China were so strong that up to 50 centimeters of water could fall in a month. But the Chinese of that time did not sit idly by. They built an awesome drainage system to fight this water madness. Each house in Pinglantai village has its own mini ditch, and these grooves were there for a reason. They ensured the safety of every inhabitant from the water element, and in the squares and in public places, giant ditches were laid, which were connected to ceramic pipes. These pipes, like a puzzle, were assembled from separate sections and directed water away from the settlement. And most importantly, these antique pipes are still in great shape. Statue of Hecate in a mysterious corner of Turkey in the city of Calendaris, archaeologists have made an incredible discovery. Hidden under the layers of earth was a three-headed statue of the goddess Hecate, and next to it was ancient pottery like the pages of a lost diary of past times. Since 1987, researchers have been trying to unravel the secrets of Calendaris, and it seemed that this year they succeeded. The main treasure of the expedition is the unique statue of Hecate. These three-headed figurines were placed at crossroads serving and symbols of borders. Hecate is a real mystery of antiquity, the goddess of magic, the lord of the night and the patroness of crossroads. Dr. Aiden, who leads this expedition, emphasized the deep connection between calendaries and another ancient city of Lagina. Gothic Cemetery with Jewels in Poland, in a quiet corner of a natural park, archaeologists have discovered a real historical treasure, a 2,000-year-old Gothic cemetery. It was there that people from the tribe of the Goth were buried, key actors in the events that led to the end of the Western Roman Empire and the beginning of a new era, medieval Europe. The archaeologist Olaf Popkevich was the first to stumble upon this place near the village of Starożaka. Immediately after that, scientists rushed to study the area of 250 square meters and found as many as 50 graves. The Goth are ancient Germanic tribes that left a huge mark on the history of Europe. During the excavations, archaeologists discovered amazing items, shiny silver necklaces, jewelry with snake motifs, and even an entire urn. Scientists believe that this is just the tip of the iceberg. DNA from the time capsule Scientists recently pulled DNA from a clay brick that is 2,900 years old. The brick is directly from the palace of King Ashurnasirpal II in the ancient city of Kalho in modern-day Iraq. They found 34 groups of plants, including birch and cabbage. This brick has become a real biodiversity time capsule. It is important to note that the brick was made from clay, straw, and from animal excrement. And it was never burned, thanks to which the DNA was preserved. Now this unique brick is stored in the National Museum of Denmark. The new techniques being used on the brick are opening the door to being able to study the DNA of animals and insects in the same way. Clay materials are found in almost every archaeological site, which makes them a gold mine for research. 3,000 year old priest's tomb. Archaeologists from Japan and Peru recently discovered a 3,000-year-old priest's tomb in Cajamarca, Peru. It is older than the pyramids in Egypt. The ancient mound was located deep in the Andes, far from noisy cities. Inside is a tomb containing two stunning ceramic seals. One shows a human face, and the other shows a scary jaguar. And believe me, to get to this treasure, archaeologists had to go through six layers of earth and ash. This amazing priest was one of the first spiritual leaders in the Andes and, according to scholars, ran the temples. This team of scientists has been digging in the Andes for 18 years, and every time they discover something new and exciting. Archaeologists were horrified. 
On the Tal Shemron Hill in Israel, archaeologists have found a giant complex that it can be compared in size to an Olympic pool. This five-story building is a monument made of 9,000 mud bricks. People in antiquity created an amazing dome and passage to the city, which reminded the explorers of the Mesopotamian building style. This is a rarity, as mud brick is very fragile. Archaeologists have also discovered stone chests, Osiris aged 1850, near Kafirkana. These are ancient Jewish urns for storing the bones of the dead. Unfortunately, they were all empty. Ancient Human Footprints was the past always the way it appears to us today? Get ready to see something amazing! I'll show you pictures of footprints of people and cars that are millions of years old. Actualism is a method of geology that says what is happening now happened in the past. In short, our ancestors could leave the same traces as we do. In numerous expeditions of Alexander Kultepin in Spain, Italy, Malta, Bulgaria, and Turkey, fossilized traces of our ancestors and animals were found, along with the tracks of cars, bicycles, and even caterpillar vehicles. If you look at modern footprints in snow or clay, they are surprisingly similar to those that the expedition members found in sandstones, tufts, and limestones from 1 to 20 million years old, just like in a time machine. And one more thing, in the photo on the left is the footprint of a modern woman's boot in the snow, and on the right is an almost identical footprint in a stone in Sicily, which is 2.5 million years old. It seems that a lady from the past was as fashionable as the girls of our time. So imagine that millions of years ago, a fashionista in cold boots passed along the road of Sicily or even raced in a car. And how many similar roads are all over the rest of Europe, Asia, North and South America? Moreover, not only people walked along them, but also mythical trolls, hobbits, goblins, just like in Middle Earth from the world of Tolkien. Moreover, some traces are 120 million years old, and the prints of people and cars are adjacent to the traces of dinosaurs. Deal of a doomed man and an official Klaus Sturtebaker is not just a pirate, but a real legend of the Baltic Seas, who, according to some opinions, even served as a prototype of the famous Robin Hood. This story begins with beer. Yeah, yeah, in ancient times in Germany, ordinary people were forbidden to drink beer. It was the privilege of aristocrats, and the one who violated the ban risked losing his head. And then one day, a simple guy named Claus, who worked on the island of Frugen, decided to try this forbidden fruit. When he was caught, the local nobles decided to play a joke and force him to drink a giant jug of beer. But Claus was not one of those who succumbed to provocations. He poured out the beer and, after a small fight, disappeared. Later, he returned, but already as a pirate, robbing the rich and helping the poor Sturdebecker became the hero of many. People even call him the bowl thrower in memory of that beer incident. However, not everyone liked it. In 1401, Hamburg sent an entire armada to capture Klaus and his crew. After a fierce battle, the pirate was captured and sentenced to death. But legend claims that before his execution, Sturdebecker offered a deal. After he was executed, his decapitated body would try to pass his sailors, and anyone he overtakes must be set free. He passed 11 sailors before he fell, but unfortunately, they were still executed. Despite the sad ends, the legend of the Sturdenbacher is still alive. His story is so inspiring that ships, clubs, and even types of glass have been named after him. In the 19th century, a skull was found in Hamburg that may have belonged to Klaus. It was kept in a museum for a long time until it was stolen in 2010. Mayan Supernatural Patron in Mexico, near the city of Campeche, a team of researchers came face to face with the mysteries of the ancient Maya. Led by archaeologist Manuel Perez Rivers, they unearthed a ritual dish adorned with colorful drawings depicting the figure of the Wahi, the mystical protector of the Mayan elite. This is kind of like an ancient superhero who can turn into an animal. According to Mayan and Aztec legends, such protectors could become jaguars, cougars, or even wolves. On this amazing dish, our mystical hero is to depicted as a jaguar or a man in the skin of a jaguar, and he seems to be standing on a bench? This artifact was found on the chest of a buried man. Maybe he was some kind of movie star or head of state of the time, because everything around him was screaming, this guy is important. Armored Dragon in Mongolia 
In the city of Chifeng, where the mysterious landscapes of Mongolia merge with history, archaeologists have made an amazing discovery – a dragon made from mussel shells. This unusual dragon is part of the ancient culture of Hongshan, a people who turned jade into art thousands of years ago. They created figurines that look like pigs, dragons, and even embryo dragons. Our mussel dragon was found in the territory of Kai Taupo. These shells, connected together, tell about the mystical beliefs of the Hongshan people about their rituals and traditions. According to experts, such objects were often used in ritual ceremonies. Son Jinshan, a leading expert in this field, considers this find the key to understanding the world of the ancient dragons of the Hongshan culture. Elon Musk about the past Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, is a future-oriented person who is still very respectful of the past of mankind. He believes that understanding history and understanding ancient civilizations can provide the key to solving modern problems. Musk often refers to ancient cultures such as the Roman Empire or the pharaonic dynasties of, of Egypt to show how technological breakthroughs and socio-cultural changes can have both positive and negative effects. One example is his mention of the huge library of Alexandria that was destroyed. Musk argues that the loss of the knowledge of this library has delayed the development of mankind for centuries, and that is why it is so important for us to preserve and transfer knowledge. Following this logic, he calls for the conservation of Earth's resources, studying the lessons of past civilizations, and for the development of space expansion as insurance against possible catastrophes. For Musk, history is not just the lessons of the past, it is also a tool for planning the future aimed at the benefit of all mankind. Relative of the Fossil Chatterman 1903, a cave in England, workers accidentally find an ancient skeleton. They call it the Chatterman, and it's not just bones, it's the oldest fully preserved skeleton in England. Chatterman was a hunter-gatherer. Scientists decided to take a closer look at it and, with the help of modern technology, learn amazing things. It turned out that he had blue eyes, curly dark hair, and dark skin. Yes, the first British looked nothing like what we used to think. DNA can tell a lot about our ancestors. Scientists used the DNA of Chatterman and compared it with the DNA of modern inhabitants of a nearby village. And this is huge. One of the local history teachers turned out to be a direct descendant of this ancient hunter. Imagine, the history of his family dates back 10,000 years ago. But as in any scientific history, there are opponents. Some scholars doubt these conclusions, arguing that the ancestors of this teacher came to England much later. It should not be ruled out that people have always been drawn to the homeland of their ancestors, whether it is the homeland of your parents, grandparents, or who knows, the homeland of your great-grandfather, who lived here more than 10,000 years ago. Archaeological Sensation at the foot of the Alps, in Switzerland, archaeologists have discovered a fantastic find – the remains of 2,000-year-old Roman walls. These walls, which once protected the Roman complex, were discovered during excavation in the city of Cam. Archaeologists have found pieces of a place wall, gold fragments, probably from jewelry, and everything from bowls to ceramic jugs called amphoras. Officials say it is an archaeological marvel for the region that can tell us about Roman activity in central Switzerland. By the way, the last time such Roman Roman buildings were found in Cam was almost 100 years ago, and amazingly, the top bricks were even visible above the ground. The area of these walls is huge, more than 500 square meters. But the mystery is, how did the Romans use this place? Villa with a good view? Or was it a temple? Items found at the site showed that elite people lived here. Luxurious dishes, detailed glass vessels and amphoras, indicating trade with the Mediterranean. And the cherry on top is a coin minted by Julius Caesar ancient coin in the children's sandbox. In the city of Bremen in Germany, eight-year-old boy Bian, while playing in the sandbox, discovered an ancient Roman coin that is 1,800 years old. Immediately after the discovery, Bian, being over the moon, showed the coin to his parents, and it turned out that this is a real Roman denarius, minted during the reign of Emperor Marcus Aurelius Antonius. Interestingly, at the time when the coin was minted, in Rome they began to save on silver due to inflation. Although this area in Germany was never under Roman rule, ancient Germanic tribes lived here and traded with the Romans. That's how the coin could have ended up here. Alice, Bjarn, will not be able to keep the coin for himself, according to the laws of Germany, such finds belong to the state, but archaeologists are so grateful to the boy for his discovery that they will give him books on archaeology, and perhaps soon the denarius will take pride of place in the Bremen Museum. 
Pyramids of the Stone Age in Eurasia In Kazakhstan, near the village of Toktamis, archaeologists have discovered a stone pyramid. The pyramid is hexagonal and dates from the early Bronze Age around 2000 BC. Animals, especially horses, are depicted on the walls. These drawings and birds of horses nearby speak of a cult of horses. In addition, they found ceramics, gold earrings and other jewelry. This suggests that the pyramid was a cultural center in ancient times. Sacrifice in Mexico Within the ancient city of El Tigre in Mexico, scientists have discovered an unusual burial. And it's not just a grave. The remains inside indicate that it was a human sacrifice. On a special platform, the researchers found two huge vessels, and inside one of them are the remains of a young man, bent and adorned with an amazing jade ring. Apparently, this burial dates back to 600-800 years of our era. That is, it was the heyday of El Tigre. Yap Island Stone Money Imagine money that you can't even move. No, this is not Bitcoin. These are stone disks with a hole in the middle scattered around Yap Island in the Pacific Ocean. Yes, stone is their local currency. One such coin can be 3.5 meters in diameter. Hard currency, literally. According to legend, 500 years ago, a seafarer decided to create the perfect money. Finding limestone in a nearby island, the people of Yap made the first fish-shaped coins, and over time, they decided that the disk is cooler. And what is the most interesting? If someone decided to pay with this coin, it would not move, changed only its owner, so everyone knew who had what money. But the Europeans came and, as always, ruined everything. They gave the inhabitants tools and technologies, and they began to make money easier, faster, and therefore cheaper. As a result, stone money went out of fashion in the 20th century, but their story is a real lesson in economics on an island in the middle of the ocean. Ancient Bloody Tale Anyone who first saw these drawings on the wall of the cave would think that the drawings appeared here quite recently. But it turned out that these are real archaeological treasures of the 17th-19th centuries. Scientists from Australia, Malaysia and New Zealand have used radiocarbon dating, the same technique that determines of ancient objects. Professor Taken says dating the rock drawings is a difficult task. Although the methods allow dating up to 50,000 years old, dyes like the red color that is often found in the caves of Malaysia do not contain carbon. But black drawings, if they are made on the basis of coal, can be checked. Similar drawings have been found in the Philippines and Sulawesi. So our cave is not the only one with its secrets. But returning to her drawings, the professor claimed that they reflect the times when there were military clashes between the local tribes and the invading Malays. A descendant of one of the tribes tells an amazing story about how his ancestors hid in a cave from a cruel Malay leader who wanted to steal their children. Fighting, many of them were able to escape by making their way through the secret passage of the cave. On the walls of the cave, not only people are depicted, but also the weapons of the era with which they protected their families. It seems that history just comes to life in front of us. Pickled Mummy Researchers have found that the mummy, dubbed the mysterious lady, retained a small fetus for more than 2,000 years. Their discovery is based on CT scan data and was published in the journal Archaeological Science. The mysterious lady is not just a mummy, she was pregnant at the time of her death and was part of the Thebes community. Her age at death is estimated to be between 20 and 30 years old, and the fetus was between 26 and 30 weeks old. And this is the only known case of a pregnant mummy that has undergone the process of embalming. Surprisingly, until last summer, no one knew about the fetus in her womb. Previous X-ray studies did not detect it because its bones mineralized. Turns out that the mysterious lady didn't die in childbirth. Her body was treated with natron, a type of salt that dries out the body and acts as a disinfectant. And the fetus remained untouched by those who mummified the body, which allowed the womb to remain in perfect condition. Because of this, the researchers found that the blood in the fetus became more acidic as the levels of ammonia and formic acid increased, leading to bone mineralization. And since the womb remained hermetically sealed, the fetus kind of marinated, remaining there for more than 2,000 years. However, the question remains, why did the embalmers leave the fetus in the body when all other organs had been removed? Sinning Dance Floor 
In Peru, archaeologists have made an incredible discovery, a setting dance floor designed in such a way that when the pressure is applied to it, it makes a sound reminiscent of playing a drum. Kevin Lane, an archaeologist at the University of Buenos Aires, is certain that this unique dance floor was used for rituals in ancient times. Dancing, in his opinion, was a key part of the Andean rituals, and this platform served as a special amplifier station for the sounds of the dance. By the way, as part of this scene, there was also an honorary platform, or Ushnu, a pyramidal structure that the Incas used for important ceremonies. When people stepped on this dance floor, it made thunderous sounds, as if inviting the god of thunder and lightning to join the celebration. To create this musical miracle, the architects conducted a series of experiments with different materials. In the end, they opted for clay and camel dung. Who would have thought that such an unusual material would be perfect for creating an amazing percussive sound? The platform could accommodate up to 26 dancers at the same time, and at this time the dance floor sounded throughout the district. This incredible outdoor dance floor was located 200 kilometers southeast of Peru's capital, Lima. Researchers suggest that it was created between 1000 and 1400 AD and was used until 1532. Silver Pharaoh in the city of Tanis in Egypt in 1940, Pierre Monti opened the amazing tomb of Pharaoh Sassens I. The pharaoh was buried inside three tombs. The first two, made of red and black granite, were reused, that is, they previously belonged to other pharaohs. The third coffin, in which the mummy of Sassanus lay, was made of silver, which is unusual for ancient Egypt because silver was more valuable and rare than gold. On the other side of the red sarcophagus, there was an inscription saying that it belonged to Pharaoh Merneftha, a follower of Ramses II from the 19th dynasty. In addition to the silver coffin, Thing, many gold and silver jewelry inlaid with stones such as lapis lazuli, carnelian, and glass paste were found in the tomb. The most amazing thing is that Sassanus I, also known as the Silver Pharaoh, lived for about 80 years. At the time, this was a real miracle, since very few could live to be even 40 years old. Round man-made object found at the bottom of the Sea of Galilee in the depth of Lake Kinneray in Israel, a huge bowl with a diameter of about 50 meters at an age of 4,000 years was discovered. Who, when, and why made it is still a mystery. Researchers from Tel Aviv University and Ariel University tirelessly tried to unravel this mystery. They even offered a fresh hypothesis that could possibly explain the origin of this mysterious object. After a detailed study using sonar and analysis of bottom sediments, scientists determined that this giant ball made from large fragments of basalt is located at a depth of about 12 meters. Previously, scientists believed that this could be the biblical well of Miriam, the sister of the prophet Moses, who helped the Jews survive in the desert. But now researchers are proposing an entirely new idea. Remember the legend of Akhet, the great hunter with the magical bow who was killed by a jealous goddess? This legend says that the father searched for the body of his son for a long time, found it and buried it in the sea. Not in any sea, but in the Sea of Galilee. Now scientists want to understand what is hidden inside this giant wall. To do this, they are going to conduct underwater research using an ultrasound machine. Ancient tunnels found near Murmansk Hidden under the city of Murmansk in Russia is a whole system of ancient tunnels. In winter, the entrance to the tunnels turns into a crystal ice kingdom. Rumor has it that these catacombs stretch for tens of kilometers and the height of the ceilings in them reaches up to 12 meters. And what is interesting, they have been known for a long time. They are mentioned even in the text of the 16th century. These tunnels, according to legend, belong to the ancient magical people of the Chakli. They knew all the secrets of the land and the extraction of valuable stones, helped the locals, and according to rumors, disappeared underground without accepting the new rules of life. Ajanta Caves, India In the mysterious depth of western India, on the steep slopes of the gorge, hides one of the greatest wonders of ancient art, the Ajanta Caves. 
These 30 rock-cut caves have served as a place of worship for Buddhists for centuries. The walls and ceilings of the caves are decorated with exquisite religious paintings that illustrate the life of the Buddha and various Buddhist legends. The oldest of these caves are believed to date back to the 2nd century BC. The bright and detailed drawings are magnificent in their own way and testify to the high level of skill of ancient artists. Ajanta caves are not just a monument of ancient art, but also a bridge between the past and the present, allowing us to look into the soul of ancient India. Terracotta Army, China In the heart of China, at the foot of Mount Lishan, there is a stunning panoramic view of one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century, the Terracotta Army. Created over 2,000 years ago to protect the tomb of China's first emperor, Chen Shi Huan, this army is a colossal collection of more than 8,000 warrior statues, 130 chariots with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses. Each warrior is unique. His facial features, clothes, shoes, everything is made with amazing detail. When archaeologists discovered it, the complex in 1974, they were amazed by the scale and excellence of the war. Work. Incredibly, all the figures were originally painted in bright colors, but many have faded over time. The Terracotta Army serves as evidence of the greatness of the Qin Empire and its desire for immortality. It is a living reminder of the power, talent, and ambition of ancient Chinese civilizations. Today, these statues represent not only historical heritage, but also a symbol of China's cultural wealth. Taxila, Pakistan Taxila, an ancient city located in present-day Pakistan, is one of the greatest archaeological sites in South Asia. This city was an important cultural, religious, and commercial center of antiquity, which flourished in the period from the 6th century BC until the 5th century AD. Taxila is known for its universities, which were considered among the first educational institutions in the world. Students from all over Asia came here to study various sciences, including medicine, mathematics, and astronomy. This place also played a key role in the spread of Buddhism throughout the continent. Archaeological excavations in Taxila have unearthed many temples, monasteries, stupas, and other religious buildings. Each of these buildings tells a unique story about the lives and beliefs of the people who lived here many centuries ago. Taxila was also an important part of the Silk Road, the highway linking east and west. This has resulted in a mixture of cultures and traditions, which makes this city exceptionally interesting to explore. Today, Taxila is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and continues to inspire scientists, explorers, and travelers from all over the world with its rich heritage and deep history. Angkor City, Cambodia Angkor, once the capital of a mighty Khmer Empire, is now the symbol of Cambodia and one of the most magnificent archaeological sites in the world. Spread over an area of more than 400 square kilometers, this place was once the center of the political, religious, and cultural life of the region. The central part of Angkor is Angkor Wat, a majestic temple built in honor of the god Vishnu. With its tall towers, intricate reliefs, and impressive galleries, Angkor Wat is an architectural marvel that attracts attracts millions of tourists every year. However, Angkor is not only Angkor Wat. Numerous temples such as Bayan, with its giant stone faces and tap room, which is intertwined with trees, create an atmosphere of mystery and grandeur. This city tells us about the complexity and diversity of Khmer culture. Religious motifs uniting Hinduism and Buddhism are reflected in art objects, statues, and reliefs. Angkor also testifies to the high level of architectural and engineering achievements of the Khmers. Water supply systems, roads, and hydraulic structures speak of a complex urban structure. Today, Angkor is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a key site for learning about the history and culture of Southeast Asia. This ancient city continues to inspire, surprise, and teach us the lessons of the past. Lakshmana Temple, India among the ancient monuments of India, the Lakshmana Temple, a majestic sanctuary built in the 10th century in the city of Kajaraho, occupies a special place. This temple, dedicated to the god Vishnu, serves as a prime example of North Indian temple architecture. The appearance of the temple is striking in its elegance and detail. 
The stucco work on the facade depicts various episodes from Hindu mythology and also represents the life of the people of that era. Particular attention is drawn to erotic sculptures, which are considered a symbol of spiritual unity and love. The courtyard of the temple is decorated with columns carved from stone, each of which is unique in its design. The temple sanctuary houses a statue of Vishnu, showcasing his various avatars. The Lakshmana temple is not just an architectural marvel, but also an important testimony to the religious, cultural and social life of ancient India. Returning to this place, we plunge into the mysterious world of the past, full of deep philosophical and cultural knowledge. Sigiriya Fortress, Sri Lanka In the heart of Sri Lanka, on top of a massive stone plateau, rises the ancient fortress of Sigiriya. This place, surrounded by legends, is one of the most striking architectural and cultural sites of the island. It is believed that Sigiriya was built in the 5th century AD by King Kasyapa as a royal residence. The ascent to the top is accompanied by passing through the majestic lion's paws, a symbol of power and authority. On the walls of the mountain, amazing frescoes depicting the girls of the clouds, mysterious beauties whose history is still controversial among scientists, have been preserved. Also at the top are gardens and pools, demonstrating the level of engineering of the ancient builders. Sigiriya is not only historical heritage, but also a place of meditation and inspiration. The view from the top of the Sri Lankan jungle is an unforgettable sight, reminiscent of the power of nature and human culture. Petroglyphs of Tamgali, Kazakhstan in the boundless expanses of Central Asia, on the territory of modern Kazakhstan, there is a unique archaeological site, the petroglyphs of Tamgali. These ancient images carved into the rocks serve as evidence of the cultural and spiritual heritage of the people who have inhabited this region for thousands of years. Tamgali is a real open-air gallery with more than 4,000 engravings. The images date from various eras, from the Bronze Age to the Middle Ages. Here you can see hunting scenes, dances, rituals, and many other passages from the life of ancient people. Particular attention is drawn to the images of solar disks, which, according to scientists, testify to the cult of the sun among the ancient inhabitants of this region. Such drawings indicate the spiritual and cosmic perception of the world among the ancient Kazakhs. Petroglyphs of Tamgali are not just stone drawings. These are pages of history that tell us about the world in which our ancestors lived. In 2004, the complex was included in the UNESCO World Heritage List, confirming its global importance. Looking at these ancient engravings, you can feel the connection of times, immerse yourself in the world of ancient legends and myth, and understand how important it is to preserve and appreciate the cultural heritage of mankind. Temples of Bagan, Myanmar Bagan is an ancient city that has served as a religious and cultural center of Myanmar for centuries. Spread over an area of about 42 square kilometers, it proudly rises above the plain strewn with thousands of pagodas and temples that testify to the former greatness and religious enthusiasm of the ancient kingdoms. The construction of temples in Bagan began in the 9th century and continued until the 13th century. Here you can see architectural masterpieces that reflect a variety of styles and eras, from massive pagodas with golden domes to elegant temples with fine carvings. One of the main features of Bagan is its walls, decorated with ancient paintings and frescoes. These images tell stories from the life of Buddha, scenes from ancient legends, and tell about the life and culture of that era. A visit to Bagan is an immersion to an, in an ancient world full of mysticism, faith and beauty, where every stone and temple contains stories that are waiting for their storyteller. Mohenjo-Daro Complex, Pakistan Mohenjo-Daro, whose name translates as Hill of the Dead, is one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. It is an ancient city of Hindu civilization, forgotten and buried under layers of time, only to be discovered again in the 1920s. Located in the southern part of Pakistan, Mohenjo-Daro is evidence of a highly developed urban culture dating back to 2600-1900 BC. Surprisingly, the city had a complex sewer system, neatly paved streets, and public pools 
pools that were used for ritual bathing. The Great Health Resort deserves special attention which, according to scientists, could serve as a venue for religious ceremonies. In addition, archaeologists have discovered a large number of clay figurines depicting people and animals as well as jewelry and even dice. However, despite all its discoveries, many aspects of this ancient civilization remain a mystery. What was the reason for its fall? What was the daily life of its inhabitants like? All this makes Mahendradara incredibly attractive for studying and searching for answers. Bactri and Gold, Afghanistan in the heart of Afghanistan, at the crossroads of ancient civilizations, one of the most impressive archaeological treasures of the 20th century has been discovered – Bactrian gold. This amazing find, consisting of more than 20,000 gold objects, was discovered in 1978 by archaeologist Victor Sarianidi. These treasures date back to the first millennium BC and belong to an ancient people who lived in the region of Tilia Tipe in northern Afghanistan. Jewelry, coins, figurines, and many other pieces of art reflect the fusion of different cultures from Greece and Rome to China and India. Jewelry attracts special attention – tiaras, earrings, necklaces – everything is exquisitely decorated with precious stones and inlaid with the finest gold wire. Among the images on the jewelry you can see panthers, deer, dragons, and many other mythical creatures. Interestingly, after its discovery, the treasures were considered lost for a long time due to political instability in the region, but in 2003, they were found in the safe of the Afghan Central Bank. Today, this treasure serves as a reminder of the rich and multifaceted history of Afghanistan and its place in world civilization. Nahuan Caves, China in the depth of the Gobi Desert, where the Silk Road stretches across the boundless sands, lies one of China's greatest cultural treasures, the Danhuan Caves. This complex of over 490 caves is home to thousands of Buddha statues and amazing murals covering topics from religion to everyday life. Created by monks since the 4th century AD, these caves became the center of Buddhist art for a millennium. Here you can see the influence of various dynasties and cultures. Indian, Tibetan, Yuga motifs merge with Chinese traditions. Of particular note is the library of the cave, where thousands of manuscripts have been found, including the oldest known examples of a printed book. These texts are not only religious in nature, but also historical, scientific, and literary works. Dan Huan Caves is not just an archaeological site, it is evidence of the spiritual and cultural heritage of China and the entire Silk Road. They tell about the meeting of East and West, about the dialogue of cultures and religions in the heart of Asia. Borobudur Temple, Indonesia Amidst the green jungles of central Java, the majestic Borobudur Temple, the largest Buddhist monument in the world, rises. This unique religious complex was built in the 8th 9th centuries and is the most important symbol of the cultural heritage of Indonesia. This temple is a monumental step pyramid crowned with large domes. On its terraces are more than 500 statues of the Buddha and countless reliefs telling stories from the Jataka, stories about the past lives of the Buddha. Following the path in a spiral around the temple, pilgrims pass three levels of Buddhism's cosmology, from the world of desires to the world of absolute enlightenment. The upper platform of the temple is decorated with 72 mystical stupas, each of which contains a statue of Buddha. Forgotten and buried under a layer of earth and volcanic ash, Borobudur was rediscovered only in the 19th century. Today, it is a popular tourist destination, attracting travelers from all over the world with its mystery, beauty and spiritual depth. This temple is a living reminder of the greatness of Java's ancient Buddhist culture. The amazing and mysterious places of Asia that I talked about in this video are just the tip of the iceberg of the history and cultural heritage of this amazing continent. Indian Pata age 500 years old. A pata, or sword bracelet, is an amazing type of weapon that came to us from the Middle Ages and served not only as a protection for the warrior's hand, but was also a dangerous attack tool. Pata has a unique structure. A long straight blade is connected to a tight fitting bracelet. This allowed the warrior to make powerful and accurate blows, as well as block enemy blows using metal protection on his hand. Pata's special feature is its complex design. The blade of the sword was often decorated with engravings and inlays, and the handle and bracelet could be made of expensive metals and stones. Pata, despite its unusual and complex nature, was very popular among Indian warriors, especially the cavalry. It served not only as a tool for battles, but also as a symbol of the status, 
power and skill of its owner. This rare and unique ancient Indian relic is a shining testament to the art and craftsmanship of ancient blacksmith and gunsmith. Aztec Makua Huitl, age 600 years. The Aztec Makua Huitl is not just a weapon, it is a symbol of the greatness and power of the Aztec Empire, a combination of ruthless efficiency and sacred meaning. It is shaped like a wooden sword, but its peculiarity is that the blade is made from sharp fragments of obsidian, a volcanic glass that the Aztecs used along with metals. Makua Huitl was not just a military weapon, but also a spiritual attribute. According to legend, the god of war and the sun Huitzilopochtli himself used this sword. It could cut a man in half with one blow, and its amazing cutting ability was so great that it was believed that it could cut off the head of a horse with one movement. Despite its effectiveness, the Makya Huitl also had a symbolic meaning. In Aztec culture, wars were often fought not to destroy the enemy, but to capture prisoners who were then sacrificed to the gods. Thus, this sword became an instrument connecting the earthly and the divine war and religion. Making Makia Huitl was a complex process. To create the blade, it was necessary to select the sharpest and highest quality fragments of obsidian. They were inserted into a wooden base and secured with natural resins. Japanese Katana, age 800 years old. When we hear the word katana, an image of a majestic samurai instantly appears before our eyes, ready to defend the honor and dignity of his master. But a katana is not just a sword. This is the history of Japan, a reflection of its spirit, culture, and philosophy. Each katana is worn in fire and hammers. The process of creating it is a meditative art that requires incredible focus, skill, and patience. Steel forging, metal lamination, precise heat treatment, each stage gives the blade its unique qualities, sharpness, strength, and flexibility. The blade of the katana is curved, which allows the warrior to deliver powerful slashing blows. The effectiveness of this sword is so great that it has become a legend not only in Japan, but also abroad. However, despite its combat power, the katana also serves as a spiritual weapon. Samurai believe that the soul of a warrior is in his sword. Katana is not just a bladed weapon. This is art, culture, spirituality. For centuries, master blacksmiths have perfected their craft, passing the secrets from generation to generation. Each katana has its own history, its own battle scars, its own soul. Alfbert Swords, age 1000 years. Among the many archaeological finds associated with the Vikings, the swords of Alfbert occupy a special place. These swords, made around the 9th 10th centuries, are famous for their unique strength and quality of steel, sometimes surpassing even some modern examples. Alfbert is not just a name, this is a quality brand. This is the designation that was forged on the blade on most of these swords. But who or what is behind this name is still a matter of debate. Some researchers believe that Alfbert is the name of a craftsman or forge, others believe that this is a kind of brand that guarantees the highest standard of quality. The secret of these swords lies not only in their origin, the methods used to make them are also amazing. The steel used in Alfbert's swords was purified with, with incredible precision, which in turn made them incredibly strong and flexible at the same time. The secret of forging these swords still remains unrevealed. Some experts argue that the manufacturing process may have used techniques that were forgotten and only recovered several centuries later. These swords were not just weapons, they were a symbol of status, power, and wealth. Owning Alfbert's sword was a sign of high status in Viking society. Philippine Dagger Chris, age 1500 years. The Philippine Chris is not just a bladed weapon, it is a true icon of Asian weaponry with a rich and mystical history. The peculiarity of this dagger lies in its blade. Wavy and curved lines not only give it a unique look, but also indicate the complexity of the forging technique. This dagger originally appeared in the Malay archipelago region and was widely distributed among the Muslim peoples of Southeast Asia. In the Philippines, the Chris became a symbol of power and spirituality, and its owner was often considered 
considered protected from evil spirits. The blade of the Chris has a special meaning. It is believed that the number of waves on the blade indicates the spiritual strength of the wearer. Each wave, or lock, represents a separate element or spirit. This feature makes each Chris unique. It is also said that forging a Chris requires a special ritual. The craftsman creating such a weapon had to observe strict fasting and prayer to ensure his work received maximum protection and power. Often crafted from different types of metal, the blade demonstrates the art of forging and folding the metal, giving each Chris a unique character. Roman Gladius Age 2000 years Gladius is a symbol of the power and prosperity of the ancient Roman Empire. Small but deadly effective, the Gladius was the primary bladed weapon of Rome's legionaries as they fought in conquests that stretched from the desert sands of Africa to the cold mountains of Britain. The straight double-edged sword, 60 to 80 centimeters long, was ideally suited for close combat. The Gladius was designed to thrust rather than cut, allowing Roman soldiers to inflict fatal wounds on opponents even while wearing armor. As the the Roman Empire grew and evolved, so did the Gladius. From earlier models, such as the Gladius Hispaniensis, which is believed to have been borrowed from the Iberian tribes, to more recent versions such as the Gladius Pompey. The finds of these swords are real historical relics that tell us about the greatness of the Roman military machine. Each Gladius has its own story, stories of battles, heroism, victories and defeats. However, the Gladius is not only a weapon. It is also an important cultural symbol, indicating the role of Rome in the formation of Western civilization. The swords, which were found on fallen legionaries or in temples as religious offerings, reflect the spirit of that era, an era of heroes, intrigue, and great conquests. Celtic Sword Age 2000 Years when it comes to Celtic culture, many imagine ancient myth, druids, and mysterious stone circles. However, the Celts were also masters of forging, and their swords bear witness to this skill. Lon, with a curved handle and a decorated guard, the Celtic sword was an art and a weapon at the same time. These swords not only served for combat, but also played the role of symbols of social status and religious purpose. Found from the British Isles to Germany, Celtic swords are often accompanied by finds of ornate scabbards, which speak to the importance the Celts attached to their weapons. Inlaid with gold and silver and adorned with intricate patterns, these swords were more than just tools of war, they were symbols of power. But what makes the Celtic sword so unique is its forging. The Celts used methods of hardening and folding metal, which made their weapons remarkably durable for this time. Many archaeological finds show that even up to 2000 years, swords have retained their sharpness. Greek Siphos Age 2400 years when you mention ancient Greece, memories come alive thanks to the great philosophers, the Olympic Games, and mythical gods. However, among the symbols of this great civilization is the Greek short sword, Siphus. With a curved blade and about 60 centimeters long, the Siphus was one of the weapons of choice for the Greek hoplite infantrymen. This sword was designed for quick slashing and thrusting techniques in the close ranks of the phalanx. Its shape was inspired by the swords of the eastern people that Greece encountered during its military campaigns. Archaeological finds of Xiphus are often accompanied by beautiful scabbards decorated with images of gods, heroes, and scenes from everyday life. In the hands of an experienced warrior, this sword became a deadly weapon. In battles such as Marathon or Thermopylae, the Xiphus proved effective in allowing the Greeks to achieve victory over numerically superior opponents. Today, these ancient swords are valuable exhibits in museums, as well as objects of interest for collectors and researchers. Bronze Swords from China Age 2500 Years when it comes to ancient weapons, China, as one of the oldest civilizations in the world, offers us amazing examples of craftsmanship. Among them, bronze swords occupy a special place, which testify to the splendor and complexity of ancient Chinese culture. Bronze Age in China, which began around the 21st century BC, brought innovations to metalworking, which gave impetus to the creation of unique weapons. These swords were often decorated with intricate engravings reflecting religious, astronomical, and natural 
motifs. One of the most famous bronze swords was found in the tomb of Marcus C. of Zen, dating back to 433 BC. This sword, although it spent more than 2,000 years in the ground, amazed scientists with its excellent condition. The blade was still sharp, and there were practically no traces of corrosion on its surface. This quality testifies to the high level of skill of Chinese blacksmith and the secrets they used to protect the metal from oxidation. Assyrian Arrows Age 3000 Years the Assyrian Empire, centered in modern-day Iraq, dominated the Middle East for centuries. Its military power was legendary, and arrows held a special place in its arsenal. These arrows were unusually strong and long, providing great penetrating power. Made of wood with iron or bronze tips, they could pierce even thick enemy shields. In the hands of an experienced archer, they became deadly weapons. In Assyria, the art of archery was believed to be a divine gift. Archers held a high position in the army and were often depicted on reliefs and seals demonstrating their exploits. Assyrian arrows not only served as effective military weapons, but also became a symbol of the power and dominance of the Assyrian Empire in the ancient world. Bone Spears from Germany Age 400,000 years among the archaeological treasures found in Germany, one of the most amazing and mysterious are sharpened bone spears. These unique ancient weapons represent important evidence of the life and skills of the primitive people of Europe. Discovered in the Schöningen area in the 1990s, these bone spears are estimated to be 400,000 years old and are among the oldest known examples of hunting weapons. Their creators, the ancestors of modern men, lived in an era when giant mammals ruled Europe. These spears were not just primitive weapons, they demonstrate amazing skill and understanding of aerodynamics. Straight and smooth, with a well-honed tip, they were ideal for hunting large animals. These weapons were also surprisingly durable and resistant, indicating the ancient people's deep knowledge of bone processing. The fact that these spears were made of bone rather than stone or wood speaks to the importance of the material. Bone is a strong and elastic material that can retain its shape even under severe impact. This this makes bone spears an ideal weapon for hunting fast and powerful animals such as deer or even mammoth. Stone knives from Kenya Age more than 500,000 years on the vast plains of East Africa, deep in the Canyon land, archaeologists have encountered ancient treasures that have revolutionized our understanding of early human history. These were stone knives, carefully shaped and sharpened. They became evidence of the amazing skill and intelligence of our ancestors. Their approximate age is 1.76 million years. Their shape and structure indicate that they were used for prey cutting and processing materials. The origins of these knives are linked to a culture known as the Acheulean which flourished during the time of Homo erectus. The incredible skill with which these stone tools were created shows that the human brain underwent significant development at this time, allowing for the creation of more complex and effective tools. Each knife was unique and reflected the specific skills and preferences of its creator. From the shape and size of the blade to the sharpening methods, every aspect of these tools has been carefully considered. While the past cannot return, it will always live on in our memories and historical findings. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumb up, subscribe to the channel, and leave your kind comment. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!